and I know Ellie seems to be in a really, he seems to be really excited and really happy, but I think he's just forgotten that we've got so much fact in for you. So let's finish that and then we'll talk about Sobby Mirage, which is a very important topic as well, but we've still got a bit more to go before we do that. Sorry. Okay. Um, um, so, I... We were talking about Father's Day and how important it is, and it's very important to respect your elders, and that's, that's emphasised so much in our religion, and it's emphasised so much as well, and it's so important, and if we don't respect our parents, we have no chance of entering Jannah, no chance at all, and it just... And listening to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and listening to his words in the Quran, it just emphasizes how much we need to respect and we need to remember that at the end of the day, no matter what, they gave birth to us and they looked after us so much in most cases. And we need to show him, we need to show him that we appreciate that and we respect. And I know Nawal and Mansoor have lined up some hadith for you, so let's go to Mansoor first. Narrated Abdullah bin Amr, Allah's apostle said, it is one of the greatest sins that a man should curse his parents. It was asked by the people, oh, uh, oh Allah's apostle, how does a man curse his parents? The prophet said, the man abu abuses the father of another, of another man, and the, and the later abuses the father of the former and abu abuses his mother, Bukhari. That shows just how important parents are in this hour and how much we should respect them. And Noah's got some more hadith to emphasize that point. Narrated by Abu Bakr, Allah's Prophet وسلم, said thrice, Shall I not inform you of the biggest, of the greatest sins? Um, and we said, Yes, O Allah's Prophet. He said, To join partners in worship with Allah, to be undoubtful to one's parents. The Prophet sat up after he had been reclining and added, and I warn you against giving forged statement and a false witness. I warn you against giving a forged statement and a false witness. The Prophet kept on saying the warning till um, we thought that he would not stop. Bukha narrated by Bukhari. Okay, so that was uh, Nawal and Masood doing a bit about the hadith. Now we're going to go on to the topic of Shabbi Miraj. We've got a lot to tell you about that and how we celebrate it. So first of all, Renice is going to start off with giving you information about it. Yeah, like before I tell you what Shabbat Miraj is, I'm going to test you, Nawal Mansur, if you understood what um, Ali said right at the beginning. What is Isra Miraj? Go on, Nawal. When the Prophet um, went to the seven heavens. Yeah, and anything else about it, Mansur? Uh, uh. You clearly weren't paying attention. <laughs> I was, on, but I forgot. Does he ever? It's nothing new. Carry on. <laughs> Go on, Noah. The Prophet arrived on Burak to get yeah. there. And I'll come to that later. So, Isra and Miraj refers to two parts of a miraculous journey that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, took in one night from Mecca to Jerusalem and from there in ascension to the heavens. And this took place on the 27th of Rajab. So, while the Prophet وسلم, was sleeping, Angel Jibreel came to him and said, this night you have to perform a very unique journey and I have been ordered to remain with you. You will have to traverse different parts of the world mounted on an animal named al Burak. Now, what is a Burak? Go on, Mansoor. I think it's like a horse with wings. Yep, it's like a horse. It's smaller than a mule but slightly bigger than a donkey and it has two wings and it's really wide and it's so fast that it can like if it wants it can, all it has to do is see its destination and it's already there that's how fast it is and so and you know it's this brak is um this was made especially for prophet muhammad sallam and on the day of judgment the um, prophet muhammad sallam will ride on it to go to the river al-kawthar 
So Prophet Muhammad وسلم, began his historical journey with Angel Jibreel and after some time Angel Jibreel stopped Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and said to him perform salah. So Prophet Muhammad وسلم, performed salah and then Angel Jibreel said to him do you know where you just prayed? And then um, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said no. And then the angel said in Taiba, Medina, the place where your tra travellers will go. So okay, after this... Okay, so uh, uh, Radisa is giving us a bit of uh, information about that, but we've forgot to take a live call. Hello, wassalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, who's speaking? Hello, who's speaking? Um, Zaina. And uh, Zaina, where are you calling from? Um, I'm calling from Tampich. Okay, and uh, how old are you? I'm um, nine years old. Okay, and uh, w what would you like to do for us today? Would you like to wish your dad on TV? Uh, yeah, I just want to say happy Father's Day to my daddy. Um, and we were celebrating today. Um, uh, unfortunately, I had to go to his job. Oh, uh, yeah, but never mind. Um, just uh, he'll be really happy that you called in and uh, you did it yeah. worldwide. You celebrated it worldwide. So, uh, I, yeah. I just want to say that, um, have you got, like, you've stopped, like, quizzes now, because you used to be quiz. Uh, yeah, we did, and, um, inshallah, we will get back onto that. Uh, no problem. We'll do it especially for you. So, because um, we have been doing a lot of things recently, and uh, we've only got an hour to fit it in. So, yeah, okay, uh, we'll try to do that for uh, our future programmes. Okay, thank you. Uh, so that was um, uh, one of our callers and uh, she just wished her dad, so if you want to call in and wish your dad, you're more than welcome, uh, you're more than ooh, happy to, I mean, <laughs> you're more than welcome to. So call in and take part in our show. Uh, you can email us at info at thickb.tv, we'll be really, really happy for your feedback, like uh, Zen just told us a bit, and uh, oh, we've got next caller. Hello, Asalaamu As Alaikum. Uh, who's speaking? Kiba. And uh, where are you calling from? From Britain. And uh, how old are you? Six. Six. Well, where? Uh, what would you like to do today? Would you like to wish your father too? It's Father's Day and I want to read a lot. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you can read a lot. Um, we'll be really happy. I think your dad will be happy too. So you can start.
Thank you for your live call. It was really nice of you to call in and take part in our show. And we are running out of time. Um, and uh, I'd just like to give you a couple of um, surahs um, from the Quran about uh, Shabai Miraj. Because first of all, um, Allah has said in the Quran that in Surah Al-Ma'idah 5-3, uh, This day I have perfected the religion for you, completed my favour upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. So that is a really big thing if you understand what that means. So basically, in the Quran it does say that that day, Shabi Miraj, it was perfected, the religion Islam was completed. And there is another uh, surah I'd like to tell you from the Quran. Allah says in the Quran that um, Allah uh, says in Surah Al Surah, our. How, or have they partners with Allah, false God, who have unsituated for them a religion which Allah has not granted? So basically, yeah, um, there were two quotes and uh, surahs from, from the Quran I just gave you guys. And uh, now I'm just going to tell you a bit about how to celebrate a Shabi Miraj. Like, people fast um, the sunset before, so I like Fajr the day before. Uh, well, the start of the day if you know, and uh, the night before. So basically, like today, um, tomorrow morning, is for tomorrow's Fajr, uh, uh, inshallah, I will fast for Shabi Miraj. And many people do that amongst the world as it's a very, very special day in the Islamic calendar. And um, people do, for they fast, they read extra namaz, and um, they pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they ask for forgiveness. And uh, they ask, they they ask um, for things they they want. So for any special duas or anything like that, because Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala does listen to your prayers. So yeah, um, we've had a couple of live calls, two live calls telling from, and they were both girls. So now boys, you haven't rang in yet, uh, and wishing your fathers. So I like you to ring in and uh, wish your fathers. We are running out of time, so please pick up the phone and dial. And um, yeah. Now, uh, like our brother Noman has been reading um, some Nasura, uh, some Nad, sorry, and uh, he's been really, really good. And yep, he's been really good. And if you think you've got the talent that he's got, uh, he's got a lot of talent, mashallah. So if you think you've got what it takes to come on to our show live and take part in our show, um, then please email us right now. We'll call in live. And um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll sort it out. And uh, not just brother Noman, um, brother Hamza, and everyone too. So basically, yeah. And uh, for this, I'm just gonna go to a sh quick nod. <laughs> Bolo, Ulfat, the Sulki 
شفاعت رسول کی بولو الفت رسول کی یا رب دکا دے آج کے شب جل ایک بار تو عطا ہو زیارت رسول کی بولو الفت رسول کی کیوں کرنا میرے دل میں ہو کیوں کرنا میرے دل میں ہو الفت رسول کی بولو الفت رسول کی سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ thank you very much brother نیمان and I can see in the kids then they are doing something so let's go have a look what they're up to yeah we're gonna go back to the kids then but before we do that our show is gradually coming to an end so yeah you guys thank you to the callers who called in today and yeah so Shabir Miraj shortly coming up today at Fajr time and hopefully I'm gonna fast and pray for forgiveness tomorrow and because it's a special day and uh, not you don't you just don't have to uh, do it um, on Shabin Raj. You can pray any time. So let's go to the kids and see what they're up to. Yeah, so Shabin Raj is really really important because, as Ali said, this is when like most things like Islam like finished sort of all the rules had finished. Like when we the amount the time the amount of times we pray, it was from there. Allah um, told Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that we had to pray fifty times in the night and a day. And then Prophet, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam descended down to the seventh heaven and then Musa Yisam asked, um, what did Allah tell you? And then Mu Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, um, my Lord has told me to pray 50, day, 50 times a night and a night, night and a day. And then Prophet Musa said, well that's too much for your followers because they're like weak in body, heart and soul. So um, ask the Lord to um, reduce that. So Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went five times until it, would, until it was reduced to five. And then, um, so Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came down and Musa said, no, that's still too much because my people, the Bani Israel, they had to do less than that and they couldn't do it. So okay, go back uh, sorry to interrupt you there. Um, we've got another live call. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. You're online. Islam and uh, who's speaking? Wa alaikum assalam. Who's speaking? Hello, who's speaking? Wa alaikum assalam. Yeah, uh, could you turn down the TV Fatima. volume? Could you turn down the TV volume or go away from the TV, please? Hello, Islam. Fatima. Alaikum? Oh, Fatima. And uh, um, where are you calling from? London. London. And uh, how old are you? Nine. And uh, what would you like to do today? Would you like to? I would to like to wish my my dad a happy birthday. Okay, and uh, is your dad with you right now? Yeah. Is he watching you then? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, so that's great. You just wished your dad a happy Father's Day, and uh, amongst a lot of people, uh, I bet you that you're having a great time with your father. We've yeah. got uh, a short time left, so I'm going to have to say goodbye to you right now, uh, the okay. office. And, um, yeah, so uh, today I'd like to th thank you, everyone who participated in our show, starting off with Nawal and Mansoor. Happy, uh, oh, sorry, happy Father's Day, and um, 
yeah, uh, even though you're not my father, that sounds kind of weird, but oh, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thank you for coming on today, and uh, it's been great for your hadiths, Nawal and Masoor, uh, and thank you, Moharaj, for your talk on Father's Day and telling us a bit more about the history. And uh, that was interesting, because I didn't know that. So, uh, yeah, we've learned quite a lot about Father's Day and El Miraj, and... Um, we, uh, thank you, Renisa, for your talk on um, Jabi Miraj and uh, what happened in it and how the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam was given Salat. And sorry to keep on interrupting you <laughs> because uh, we had live calls. So thank you once more time to all of you guys who participated in our show. And um, hopefully I want you guys to call in next week, take part in our show. And if there's any feedback that you guys want to let us know or anything that you want us to like do so like for example the quizzes um zainab uh, told us from cambridge she was reading she told us to do quizzes and um, yeah hopefully we will do that and uh, yeah we'll there'll be uh, surprises for you coming up in our uh, future shows so uh, unfortunately our time comes to an end here and uh, inshallah we will see you next week please call in next week allah hafiz